So now if you check in the docs and if you look for Vu states, you can see that you've got the root query available and that's what we had written over here, which is root query. And then this is Vu states, which is this. If you click on it, you go inside of it, you can see that the type is Vu states. So that's the type here. And basically this is the description because we wrote states over here. That's the description being shown. And it takes argument. So it takes argument, which is this one as country code and the type is string, right? The type is string over here. Okay. If you click on it, all right. And then again, you, if you click on the view and then again, if you click on the view states, uh, which is the type, then it's going to jump on to this boost state GraphQL object type and it has fields like state and the type is boost state. So if you take a look, this is states and the type is boost state, right? And why is it showing a bracket? Because it's a list of, it's an array. So if you click on it again, uh, it's going to jump over to the boost state, which is this one. Uh, as you can see on top, this says boost state over here and is going to take two fields state code and state name and that each of them is of the type string so state code and state name each of the type string awesome perfect so now if you go over here you can select country code so that gets added as the parameter to filter the result and then you have the state codes just click on it and state code and state name so that's how you have it and then you can pass any parameters, let's say Australia for, you can pass AU. Um, and then if you hit it, you'll notice that currently you're getting an empty array. And why are you getting an empty array is because currently that's what we are returning from the resolver function, right? We have an empty uh, array that's being returned. So what are we going to return from here is what's going to be uh, displayed over here. But it is important that when you are returning the data, uh, make sure it matches the shape that it's expecting. So when you're putting data inside of it, make sure it matches that. Okay. So what is it that it's expecting? It's expecting the states basically, right? So it's expecting the states and it's expecting the state code and state name, right? Okay. So how do we get that? So what we're going to do is basically uh, the, we want to fetch the states from WooCommerce. So we'll say first, if the class does not exist, which means if the WooCommerce is not installed and activated, so WooCommerce, then just return. Yeah, I think you can do like states and then states. So just return this uh, in case if WooCommerce class does not exist. But if it does, it, the code will continue further and we'll say states equals, we'll first check if the argument has been set. So whatever you're gonna pass it in the argument country code is gonna be available under args. So you're gonna check is set. Arguments. And what is the argument? So the argument is the country code. So I'm going to put that here. And then I'm also going to check that it's not empty. Okay. And if that is the case, then I'm going to use a WooCommerce function. So, you know, we have a WooCommerce function available. Uh, that g basically returns an instance of a WooCommerce. If you check the definition of it, it basically returns the WooCommerce class instance. So this is our WooCommerce class, right? So it returns its instance, which means you'll be able to call functions uh, on this particular class. So I can say countries and then I can say get states because that's what I'm interested in, right? So if you check get states, you can see that uh, it's inside of the class country. So by going to uh, WooCommerce countries, it ba basically goes to that particular class and then it calls the get states function for that class, right? 
and then we're going to pass the argument so if you check the get states it basically uh, accepts the country code right CC so I'm gonna pass the country code which is this which is whatever user has passed as, as an argument and then we're going to say that if that doesn't exist which means if user has not passed the argument then we're just going to return an empty array you can do different error handling and stuff but for demonstration purposes i'm just returning an empty array in case if the user has not passed any arguments okay all right so that's that and then we want to get the states right now the thing is that if you just go ahead and call this function it's not going to return the data in the format that we need so in the format that we need is basically uh we require the state code and state names in form of an array and it's not going to give us that so for that we'll have to create a custom function uh, that basically formats the data and gives it in the shape that we require so we'll say public function and we'll call it as get formatted states that'll be states all right and first we will go ahead and create an empty array variable so we'll say formatted states equals this and if empty states and not is array states then just return the empty array because so we are doing the error handling so in case if this does not exist or if it's not an array then just go ahead and um, if it's empty or if it's not an array then just return the empty array okay so then if that's all okay then we're just going to loop through these states say as state code and state name so basically this um, this is going to give us the code and the name and we just need to basically format it properly so we'll say array push and then that will be formatted i want to push the items in there in the format that i need so this basically gives you in kind of an object key value pair format and we're just converting this in form of an array which will be an associative array so we'll say state code because remember that that's the format that we need so we need this format basically right let's copy this quickly okay and the value is going to be state code because that's what the state code is and then this will be state name okay and then finally we can just return the formatted states which is brilliant okay and then we just need to call this function here so let's say states equals this oops get formatted states and I'm just going to pass the states that we have received by calling the WooCommerce uh, get states function out of that class okay and then finally we're just passing that state here awesome so now let's keep our fingers crossed and let's check if that's working okay now it is not working the reason for this is because we have passed this in small letters right and it is expecting it in capital letters so what we need to do is just need to use a function called str to upper and that should do the trick hit it congratulations amazing so as you can see that we've got all of the um, states that belong to the country australia 